What's up guys, today we're gonna to be doing something that I've never done before on YouTube and I'm gonna be showing you guys some cards that I have for sale because I'm making an absolutely massive purchase for the channel. I can't tell you what it is yet, this is gonna be pretty crazy, but it's really big. So I'm gonna show you guys some slabs. These are PSA graded cards that I have for sale. I will have more stuff for sale, but that is gonna be on my Instagram. So make sure you guys go check out my Instagram, follow me there, because that's where you can contact me about all these cards that I'm selling. But I'm just gonna show you about 22 cards that I have for sale right here. So let's just go ahead and start it off. First of all, with the giveaway. Giving away these three cards, Summon Skull from Duelist Pack Yugi. We've got a Guardian Slime Ultra Rare from Legendary Duelist and Marinsus Marbled Rock. All you gotta do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card that I'm selling. The first card, we have a Hinokage Suchi. This is one of the supers we pulled from Retroback 2. It graded a nine. I'm only looking for $35 shipped within the US, so I will sell international but it's gonna be extra for shipping and I'm not under declaring. If you guys want me to put it down, it's like $5 worth. I just don't do that because it is illegal. So I'm gonna to have to go with the declared value if you're interested in an international purchase. So this is 35 shipped in the United States, tracked with a bubble mailer. Second, we have a secret rare prime material Falcon from Crimson Crisis. I actually did pull this on the channel a long time ago from Crimson Crisis. I think maybe, I don't know why I got a nine. It's pretty nice, but uh, it, got, it did get the nine, so I was asking $50. So, and by the way, if you guys have any offers on anything, you're feel free to offer, but try not to do it in the comments. Do it either on my email, which I will have in the description, or on Instagram, which would be the best, because that's where you can contact me the most easily. Next, we have a Cyber Dragon Infinity. This is a prismatic, whatever you want to call it, Starlight, I guess. I don't know, Japanese. It is pretty tough to find pricing on this guy. He got a mint nine. He is in really good condition. Really cool looking card. I was asking 225 shipped for it. If you have sales data, because I couldn't find much sales data on this card, then and you want to share it with your offer, that would be great. So we have this $225 shipped. Next we have the triple tactics talents that I pulled out of the case with the DD Crow, the double starlight case. Pretty cool. It graded a nine, unfortunately. So the uh, the raw card's like 350 plus dollars. So I was asking 425, I think, for it. So 425. So basically, I would make uh, no money grading it. I would like lose money because I graded it. So I'm asking 425 dollars for this one. Next, we have a Voltanus the Adjudicator. So this isn't just the ultra rare. It's not the old, the ultimate rare version, which would be a little bit more expensive. It is a Gym Mint tin, though. I was asking 85 dollars for it. This is from Enemy, Enemy of Justice first edition so in enemy of justice you get one out of 24 you get an ultra there are four different ultras so you got about a one in 100 or one in 96 chance to pull this so not not too easy to pull did get a gym mint in we pulled it on the channel 85 dollars then we have another enemy of justice card that i pulled on the channel super electromagnetic voltec dragon that is a mouthful ultimate rare it got a nine i'm asking 50 shipped for this guy so pretty good condition. That scuffs on the uh, case. Probably can wipe that off. So that's nine. And then there's also a 10. So we have a, a 10 and a nine of the same guy, both pulled on the channel. This one, I'm asking 175 because it is gym mint. Feel free to make an offer if you have one. It's super clean. There's a little bit of an imprint stamp there, but that's pretty common with ulti ultimates. Ultimate. Then we have not one, but two Cyber Prima. These are both nines. Both got nines, unfortunately. I'm asking 50 each for these. I think the centering may be off a little bit. So 50 each for the nines of Cyber Prima Ultimate Rares from Enemy of Justice. Then we have another Enemy of Justice. We opened a lot of Enemy of Justice. We opened nine booster boxes, I think, something like that. Never got the card we wanted. We have Enemy of Justice Goryu Ultimate Rare. This guy asking 175 for as well. Then we have a pretty cool card that I pulled from Dark Beginning 1 when we opened a booster box. Summon Skull Super Rare. Gym Mint 10. This is actually really cool. Card that I didn't really, you know, I've had it for a long time, didn't really want to sell it, but sometimes huge purchases come up and you have to sell stuff. So this guy, I'm asking $400. Basically, there was like, I mean, there's hardly any data on Dark Beginning 1 stuff. So I just went with $400 as my guesstimate. Let me know if you are interested at that price. If not, you can make an offer. Then I also have a Red Eyes from Dark Beginning 1 that we pulled. Also got a Gym Mint 10. I'm asking the same price, $400 shipped. Then we have our Hobby League Marauding Captain. This got a Gym Mint 10. Um, also pretty tough to find uh, sales data on this kind of stuff. It's not too many PSA 10s. I'm asking 300 for this guy. Then we have a Cyber Jar, which is also 
a Hobby League card. Also a Gem Mint 10, asking the same price, 300 shipped. Then I have a Ring of Destruction Duelist Pack Kaiba First Edition. This one was actually pretty tough to find anything about it other than like just the raw value because Duelist Pack Kaiba has gotten really expensive and this is an Ultimate Rare First Edition PSA 10. So I was like, this guy's got to be worth something, you know, Ring of Destruction. So what I settled on, my asking price is $800. So if you are interested in $800, let me know. You also can make offers, of course. But that, I figured, since the box is now worth a couple thousand, the blue eyes, super rare, is worth oh, like 2,000 or 1,500 or whatever it was, that an ultimate rare first edition is pretty reasonable at 800. Next, we have an elemental hero. This is another enemy of justice card, but this is an elemental hero, Jim Minton. Elemental hero, Wild Wingman. This is a really nice one. This guy is in really nice shape. PSA 10. So I'm asking $600 for the Wild Wingman. Usually he is a super rare in Enemy of Justice, so a little bit more common than like the Phoenix Enforcer and the Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Those guys are super expensive. I am not going to ask like a couple thousand or whatever, but I couldn't find any sales data, so I'm going to go with $600 shipped for this guy. Then we have a Reshef the Dark Being. This isn't normally an Ultra in the Lost Millennium, so he's kind of the forgotten Ultra from the Lost Millennium. They have the Flame Wingman, there's the Thunder Giant, there's the Ancient Gear Golem, of course, so he's a little bit forgotten. He is really awesome. Very tough to pull Ultra Ulties. If you don't know what that means, they're normally Ultras, and they're, when they're in their ulti form, it's pretty tough to pull them. So because of that, I would be asking 800 for this guy because he is He's not as popular as those other ones, which are up there in the $1,500 to $2,000 range, maybe even more for Flame Wingman and Ancient Gear Golem. But this guy is still an Ultra Ulti, pretty pretty tough to pull, and a pretty cool card, to be honest. So I'm going to ask $800 for this Gym Mint 10. Pretty tough to find this guy, so. Then we get into some bigger ones. We have a BGS 9 Elemental Hero Dark Bright. This is the one we pulled the uh, in the outro, so you guys know this one. It got a mint 9, but it was pretty close. For some reason, the centering just got killed. I mean, it is bad, but 8.5 was rough. Honestly, could be a 9.5. It also has the uh, foil shift on the uh, label, which is pretty cool. So it's a little bit foil shifted, which is always cool to have a little bit of a misprint. So for this one, I couldn't. I don't really know what to ask because it has foil misprint. So you guys can just send me offers if you're interested in this one. Pretty cool card. I, I don't, the, the thing is, I don't really want to sell a lot of these cards, but you got to sell some stuff sometimes to get some big purchases. But let me know if you're interested in this one. Then we have another BGS card, Flare Neos. This was also in the BGS sub we did. This is a 9.5 with 9.5 on three and a nine on centering. Pretty cool card. Also an ultra ulti. This one's out of Power of the Duelist. I'll be asking $800 for this one. So this is a 9.5. It's gym mint. It's not probably not at the level of a PSA 10 because PSA 10s are more desirable than 9.5s from BGS, but still a really cool card. So $800 for that one. Then we have two final cards that I'll be putting up for sale. Elemental Hero Thunder Giant from the Lost Millennium First Edition Ultimate Rare. This is one that I really do not want to part with, but we get, but we got to put it up for sale just to be able to get this. This guy is just a really nice looking card. I actually bought this one on eBay for like 50 bucks and graded it like almost two years ago now. It was a long time ago, but super cool card. Um, I'm asking $1,500 for this one. I think there are two on eBay for like $1,800. So I'm, I went a little bit below that one because it's not on eBay. So $1,500 if you guys are interested in this one. Jim Mint 10, Elemental Hero Thunder Giant Ultimate Rare, first edition from the Lost Millennium. And finally, the last card, one that I really, really don't want to part with. Maybe I won't. I've done this a few times, put it up. But we have the Cyber Dragon. You guys have seen this in the background for a long time. We have the Ultimate Rare Cyber Dragon, Cybernetic Revolution. This one, I'm just very, I'm very attached to this one. I like this one. It is a really cool card, looks really nice. And it is pretty expensive, which is the reason I'm putting, I would be willing to sell it because it would be a big chunk of what I'm buying. It would help me out a lot. So this guy in Gym Mint 10, I've had pretty high offers on it, but nothing that has gotten to what I would definitely sell for. And the asking price for it, I'm going to ask 5000 So if, if someone offers me $5,000, then I will sell it for sure. Anything below that, I would consider, but um, I definitely I won't sell for sure. But I've had offers in the mid-3,000s, so I could sell it for that. But it's just, it's tough. It's tough to sell this one, but if... if 5,000 comes up, then I will sell this guy. So that's what I'm looking for for that one. If, if you're not interested, that is okay. I understand. So overall, that is those are the slabs I have for sale right now. If you guys are interested, hit up my Instagram, at Ruxin34. 
or hit me up in my email, which will be in the description as well. Instagram is the best. Finally, we have a few sealed items that I'll have for sale as well. So we have OTS one packs. I have about 122 of these. So this is just 22. I have two other 50 pack boxes. So 122 OTS one packs. I'll be asking $15 a piece. You can get the ultimate rare dark law out of here. If you get like a bunch of them, then there will be a small discount. So if you're interested in these, make sure you hit me up. And if you're interested in the discount on like multiples, then let me know in the Instagram message. Then we have a first edition starter deck Yugi. Yeah, this is the one that I got in a trade a few months ago. So it is in pretty good condition. It's first edition, it is sealed. It has a little bit of, you know, not damage, but uh, a little bit of an indention there. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. The corners are pretty sharp for the most part. Everything is still sealed. So, and then that top flap is sealed. So. I'm asking $2,000 for this sealed starter deck Yugi. So if you're interested in that one, hit me up. The flap hasn't even been poked out yet, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, there's that one. Final item I have sealed is, it's actually, well, it's kind of sealed. The actual box is a Champion Pack 2 100 pack box. These are not scaled. These are unweighed. There should be 10 hollows in here. There's 100 total packs. So it is a pretty, pretty valuable item. I'm just going to take offers on this one because I really don't know. I don't know what I should ask for this. So I'm not really going to sell like one pack at a time. If you're interested in light packs, I do have light packs of champion pack one, two, three, four, and five. So you hit me up about those as well. I'm selling those. But if you're looking for an unweighed 100 pack box, hit me up. And this is the final item I have for sale. So if you guys want anything that I showed you today, make sure you hit me up on Instagram or on the email in the description. And that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs>